Hello guys and gals, welcome to another episode of Squad Morale Restored. My name is Daniel and today we're going to be taking a look at my third um, weapon option for the uh, Reaver Titan, which I'm currently serving towards after many years promising myself one when I could just about afford it. So, this particular weapon arm is the Laser Blaster. Um, I used to field Reaver Titans armed with the Turbo Laser Destructors, and that's what I'm doing at the moment in the Adeptus Titanicus that's available at the moment. Um, but I'd really like to get um, at least one of these arms on my upcoming Reaver body. So let us have a gander, if I can get in, hang on, at how good the model looks in the flash and how good Forge World's uh, quality control is. Now, I'm aware that these arms um, are probably not 3D because they're Reaver Titans, an older model. Um, and unless these arms are more recently um, produced, they'll not have been done as, quite as crisply as the they are like models today are. So we've got, got a box of bubble wrap. Hey, hey, right off it goes. Ah, interesting. So we've got so doing away with the um, photocopied sheets. We've got a nicely designed Battle Titan laser blaster page. So A4. Ah, I wonder if this is actually is a three D printed. Um, piece because of the, all the CAD work. Um, in my last video, it was the Apocalypse Missile Launcher, which you could tell was a bit, a little bit rough around the edges in terms of um, casting and design. Um, but the first video was of the Gatling Blaster, which was um, it felt like a new, newish build. Now, a newish design. So this one's got copyright two thousand. And 18. So this could indeed be a really new part. And the barrels um, look very similar to that on the Acastas Knight Porphyrian. A um, little less detailed here and there, but on the whole, very reminiscent. Let's have a look to see what we've got then. We have one bag and we have one bag, so, and that tapping in the background isn't my knees knocking. Rather, our washing machine, which is deciding to play the woodpecker game. Let's see what we've got in here. And as always, we will have a look at the little leaflet to see who has put this together for us. And the name is suitably S6. SG, no, I S B S G, no idea. Nick. Okay, so this was checked by somebody or other on the first November last year. Let us see what what if they've made a good job of that checking. So we've got one piece. One thing I've noticed with the um, arms is there's not a massive amount of different components. Just the parts that you do get are huge. Um, Craig, it sounds like my teeth are knocking. I'm on teeth are chattering. So next, <laughs> next this year, uh, next episode will be on how the uh, washing machine was repaired instead of anything else to do with gaming. So our first chunk, and are we disappointed? We have some slipping, hassling here. We've got, so this is, you can tell it's sort of 3D model because all these lines were sort of been built up. Okay, that is a pain in the backside. Um, would you file that down or would you fill it? It's difficult to tell. Let us see. Mm, not sure yet if you just fill along that. If it gets any worse, it might end up being sent back. And on this side, same here. 
Oh dear, that's not so good. Not too good at all there. Oh dear, dear, that's way off. Okay, so this part, because the parts are expensive enough not having to spend time faffing about with them. Don't mind the odd bit of clean up, but that's, no, that's not on. Okay, so that's gonna go in the complain pile. Let's check the gun barrels. And we have crisp looking things. Now we've got, here we go again. We have some misalignment here. How bad is it? Um, I think that's okay. Okay. It's a bit a little bit disappointing because the last um few um unboxings I've done of Fortal Minis, they've been pretty much perfect. Nothing at all wrong with them. Um, okay, we'll put that on the let's think about the pile. And we have barrel number three. And again, what is it with these guys? We have a similar slip up there. It's slightly easy to clean up. Bit, a bit rough and ready, but probably fixable. Um, actually, let's just check the ends of the gun barrels. So they're nicely rounded. Nothing wrong there. Okay. And we've got the... Um, now, what's this part called? This is the... Um, I think that's the... The brace. So this is the brace. So the barrels, whoops. So all the barrels will rest on this. And this looks spot on. Yeah. Nothing wrong there. Perfect. That's going in the perfect part. Then we have our pipe work. So we've got one corrugated the tubing with weary I'll have a look around the side because the anything corrugated tends to not match up perfectly and it's pretty cool. yeah needs a little bit of knifey knifey work but that isn't really sharp and these pipes nice and chunky chunky bit of piping and they look spot on brilliant okay so they're in the perfect pile right we have this now what do they call this part part number two capacitor wow that is some size capacitor Okay, so this is where the charge for the weapon would be stored. And we have very crisp cog work at the back. The itinerant woodpecker in the background. And a nice bit of plumbing there. Really sharp. A little bit of clean required there, a little bit of, ooh, little, come on camera, a little bit of filling required there, nothing too serious. Yeah, nice. Okay, so the last part is the sort of the gun shielding part. So what have we got? We've got... Turn that off for a start. Let's have a look around. So again, we've got 
missing bits here. We've got this hideous looking thing here. Um, wow, well, miss trunk out there. Um, apart from that, not a bit there, but that's just not clear up nicely with a knife. Again, here, what is the matter with these guys? Um, smooth that off a bit, so that should be perfectly fine. Yeah, rather large, rather large, chunky um, key that will come off easy enough. Just a um, bit of a tip or tip I picked up on somebody else um, is to snip off around the outsides first, and then work your way, work your way into the details to preserve it, just to make sure you don't have any issues so this is gonna go how can i go with there mm, now does that go there or does that go there that must go that way on i think okay and then this chunk and chunk and grip piece is gonna slot in nicely to that so we've got a quite a long, especially with these barrels attached, it's going to be quite a long, long weapon. Okay, dogs. So, um, on the whole, you can tell that the model is a more recent, uh, a recent one, um, generally because of the crispness and just overall feel for the parts. Um, only downside was being slightly let down by this mysterious character. I um, haven't quite decided yet whether just to um, do a clean up. All depends on whether there's actually detail missing um, that a bit of filling will sort out easily or not. Okay, so anyway, next video um, will be either looking at replacement parts for this or the cleaner parts for the uh, cleaning these parts up. Um, or possibly even the body, but that might be a little way off yet. So, uh, until next time, guys. This has rather been rather a short video. Um, hopefully, I will see you again. As always, please click on subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and click the bell for notifications to see when the next video comes out. Um, until next time, happy hobbying. And you guys take care of yourselves.